Hey guys, welcome back. It's that time. It's the middle of the month. So we're gonna open up the November 2020 Monster Bass Box. If you're new to the channel, I am Steve Chapman and welcome. But today what we're gonna do is we're gonna check out what's inside the November Monster Bass Box. If you're unaware and have never done a subscription tackle box, uh, Monster Bass is a monthly subscription box that you pay, that I pay every month, and they send you, their theory is they're gonna send you quality named products, seven or eight quality named products for your region. Because what I fish here is gonna be completely different than what is being fished in Michigan. So they have different areas that they put the box together with their pros, and their professional staff, and they pick out, hand select the baits that go in each box. And two of the last three months have been really kind of disappointing. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what's in this November 2020 box. Now I've already cut it open, but let's check it out and see what's in the Monster Bass 2020 November subscription tackle box. Just looking at my address. Okay, to start us off, they gave us one of their own Monster Bass Slick Sticks. Suspending diving, uh, suspending jerkbait that dives two to uh, four to six feet. Its length is 4.3 inches and it weighs one half ounce. I'm not sure if I'd call this a name product. See, here's, my, here's one of the issues I have with putting your own stuff in it. You start to become, when you start putting your own stuff in it, you kind of take away from what you initially said. It was going to be named products in the box. And, uh, and well, while this probably is a pretty good bait, I'm just not, I'm just not sure of it. That's all. That's just being honest. Next. They gave us a little booklet that says exactly what's in this. Uh, we'll go over that in a few minutes. Next, we have from Excite Baits, the XB1, which dives two to five feet. Little square bull crankbait. Uh, I wanna look at this for a second. I think if I remember correctly, because I've watched some of Rick's uh, stuff, this is a new paint job on this bait. I don't know the, the the person who does it, who transforms them, but unfortunately, this is an old bait. This is an overstock bait with a new paint job. That's what this is, unfortunately. I'm gonna keep it real here. This is an, a bait from four, six, seven years ago that just got a paint job. I think the best way to put it is Imagine you go to a, uh, a plastic surgeon and they make up your whole face and give you Botox and you know you come out looking like you're 20 years old but your shit's still 60. You're still 60 years old. This is what I kind of feel about this bait, unfortunately. And I've said that a few times, I don't need to repeat myself, but I kind of feel like this, is, this bait just got some Botox because it's an old bait. Next, another thing from Excite Baits, the High Floater. Take them out, one out of the box, one of the pack for you. Looks like a little swim bait with a great little tail to it. A little curly tail that probably gives it some pretty good action. I've never seen this one before. Never even heard of it before. But it's from Excite Baits, and they're. I don't want to say Excite Baits is a giant company, but they're a decent company. I'm going to have to check out this one because I've never heard of this one, heard of, seen this one either. Next, from Lunker Candy, get some sweet action. The LC55, which looks just like a, you know, a, what is it, Colorado trap. 
Lunker Candy is a family owned and proudly based and proudly based in the great state of Tennessee. We pride ourselves on delivering a quality finished product that runs true right out of the box. When you want some tasty action, throw some Lunker Candy at them. I've never heard of Lunker Candy. Maybe they're a new company. Um, I know they said they were going to throw some new stuff in here, some new companies in here. I wouldn't consider this one a big name company either, but it looks good. And you can always use, you know, something this size that's a rattle trap kind of looking thing. Hooks might be a little small. Hooks are way too small, but you can fix that. Hopefully it runs better with better hooks. I'm going to put that on the ground in that bottom. Next from Zero Gravity is the Hybrid Underspin Airdrop. I know nothing about this company either. I would not consider this a named company either. While it looks like it's great, it's 0.4 ounce, uh, ounces, um, it looks like a great underspin. I just don't know anything about Catch Outdoors. Next, from Spearpoint Hooks. They sent some one at spear point hooks. Nope. That doesn't work down here. Rick, I don't know who's telling you these things. We don't use we don't use one at hooks. Give me the threes, the fours. Don't give me the ones. Those are worthless to me. Next, they sent some KVD perfect plastics. What are these? The Net Ochos? Yes, the Net Ochos. Maybe the hooks go with these. I doubt it because I'd use a Ned hook for them. These are all right. These is, at least this is a name product. Strike King is a great product. I'm not a big Ned person. That's just me. Um, these are coffee scented and salted. I'm not a net, big neg, uh, Ned um, angler. I just, I just don't fish this kind of stuff down here in Florida. And it looks like last but not least from Big Bites... Bates, which is an, a big, bigger name one, the 4.4 Finesse Swimmer in the Disco Glitter. Those ones look alright. So, because these are on the floor, we got ourselves three plastics, the Excite Plastics, the KVDs, and the Big Bites. Then we got the Monster Bass, the Excite, uh, Excite Bait, the Lunker Candy and the Underspin, and then we got the Spear Point Hooks. So, I would say this has more no-name products than name products. Uh, I don't consider the Monster Bass Lure a name product, because I, I think that probably costs them a buck to, to make. Um, while I think the Excite Bait has a great paint job on it, it is an older bait and overstock, for sure. Um, the Lunker Candy, I've never heard of in my life. The Airdrop, I've never heard of in my life. And uh, the Spear Point Hooks, are just, they're just too small. Uh, the One-Out Hooks, I, I, don't think, I don't think any of these companies should give out One-Out Hooks. Because the majority of us use two, threes, and fours on just worms. So a One-Out, while it, some people might use that, that just does, doesn't do anything for me. So I don't know what you guys think of this box. I'm not very happy right now, to be honest. This is three out of four months I'm not happy. Um, maybe you like this stuff and it'll work perfect for you and this is great. But as someone who paid 35, 34, 35 bucks for this, I wanna see new stuff and I want, I, I know for, I maybe I'm wrong on the Excite bait, but I know it's at least six years old. New paint job, I mean, put some Botox on me and my ass might look good. Probably not, but still. Anyway, um, if you want if you want this box, monsterbass.com, you can go there and check it out. Uh, I will be giving this one away for sure. There isn't anything in here I want. So I'm adding this in because now I feel horrible that I was maybe a little bit too harsh on this box. Now that I've done the 360 and put them in the photo booth over here, I think there's two maybe three things I'm going to use. I'm going to try these out because they have a fantastic tail and I've never seen them. So I think 
with a, maybe a two out hook, I think I could probably swim these and probably catch some, some fish with them. So I like that. Next, I'm definitely going to use these swim baits from Big Bite Baits. I didn't take them out and look at them, but once I took them out, you'll see them on the 360. They're really pretty magnificent. They're pretty, it's a pretty nice bait. So I'll probably use those. Those two are definites. And the airdrop, I might use too. I do like using underspins, and I think it's an, uh, it's a bait that is undervalued in our industry. And I think it's a pretty decent looking bait. Paint job looks good. So I'm going to definitely use these three things. The other stuff I'm not going to use. Uh, while I think the, the, this bait looks pretty good, the suspending twitch bait, I just, I have so many other ones like from Molex or other closer looks that I'm in the process of, of, of using that just are fantastic. And the lipless crankbait, even though I forgot what it's called, looks great and looks great in the, in here. I just, I'm a rattle trap man. That's all. If I'm gonna if I'm gonna put my money, my five or six dollars into a lipless crankbait, it's going directly to rattle trap because they're they're like the originator. They're who everybody wants to be like. The rest of the stuff, the hooks, the neds, and uh, the paint job. While this is a great paint job, I just. Uh, not that it can't be fished here, it's just not, it isn't my, it isn't my thing. Uh, I think that we started off really strong with Monster Bass, really, really strong. There were some fantastic boxes, but slowly but surely, we're kind of going down the same road as Lucky Tackle Box, where it's not stuff that we know of, and while the, I think the airdrop, that, that hybrid zero gravity, might be a bait that comes out next year, but it's all stuff that I've never heard of. And me, you want to, in all honesty, I'm going to use that airdrop. I'm going to try that out just to try it out. But everything else, I'm not going to try out. And when you pay thirty-five dollars, you know you want you want to see you want to see something in there that you like or use. They call themselves the better box. Right now, I don't think they're the better box. I hate to say that, and I mean, I mean, I'm trying not to be completely bash them. Right now, I'm just disappointed. And maybe I should take a break and then come back and do this. And not be disappointed but i just want to be truthful and honest but i'm disappointed anyway hope you guys like this if you like the content which i can understand if you don't subscribe because of this i understand uh if you do like the content appreciate uh, the honesty and the closer looks and the video podcasts and all the other things that i put on this channel please subscribe if you don't it's okay i got a massive giveaway at five thousand i've got three i'm going to do first three prizes they're they're pretty big anyway subscribe like comment and click the notification bell so you know so you know when the next video drops guys oh man oh man i hope you are doing well i hope you're happy healthy and you're able to go fishing it's pouring outside we're in hurricane or tropical store etta or whatever its name eta etta right now and i'm doing this remember to take a kid fishing get your fish on we will see you soon. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to subscribe, click up here. If you want to see our last video, it should be right here. Take a kid fishing, get your fish on. Cheers.